Kentucky E. Tomix Kanatani Good morning It is the early a.m. Not even 7 o'clock yet On Friday June 19th, 2020 In the lunar cycle Apistishkitsatos The last Nights of this lunar cycle And I'm on my way this morning to check out some of my traps, of course. Uh, first stop is going to be a residence in Colehurst, where I know there are skunks trapped because the uh, homeowner messaged me late, late last night and let me know. Uh, we have at least three baby skunks or young skunks in one trap and hopefully a fourth one in a smaller trap over here. Uh, we're going to be picking those up and heading down to the river to the city water intake uh, where we're going to release the skunks and check the beaver trap, see what's happening down there. Hopefully we have a beaver to move this morning, but we'll see. And then from there, I don't know, we'll, we might have other skunks to move. Uh, it's early yet, so I'm not going to probably start getting calls for those for another couple hours. And looks like it's going to be a nice day, sunny day, so I wouldn't be surprised if we have some snake calls too. And I got a bit of updating to do, so let's get our round on. River. Let's go see if we got a beaver in the beaver trap. And in either case, we gotta let the skunks go somewhere out here. I put the trap off on the side where they're building the lodge this time, positioned it differently, hoping that might help my effort. Go see. And it's still wide open. Darn. No beaver taker. Last night. Okay, so I'm gonna have to reset it tonight. Um suppose I should probably close it up for the day though. Let's see. Yeah, better close it up so that don't get anybody's dogs or anything in there. Oh, interesting. It just, just caught up on itself again, like the other, like the other trap didn't actually close like it's supposed to. That is the problem that I was having previously. Let's see what 
what's up with that? Yeah, see that? That pad is pressed. And uh, the whole thing is tripped. Why isn't it closed? I don't get it. Oh, it's held maybe by uh, that pin at the bottom. Let's see if we can do if we can do anything with that. Yeah, it just caught caught itself at that very back part. Interesting. Afraid of snapping it on myself, of course. Look at that. Caught on the cage itself, eh? So, who knows, maybe a beaver did stop in there last night and just couldn't... Uh, Didn't do anything. <laughs> this here is all kind of new lodge material they're building. I've been spending some days taking this material and chucking it off into the river. More discouragement, but Maybe I'll just take it off of here and and haul it around with me and bring it back end of the day instead of leaving it at the river here. I've already got it out of the water now, so makes sense. And then uh, we'll release the skunks. All right, stinkers. This is your last stop. <laughs> Got their little bup, bums ready. Yeah, I figured I'd put them over here by this big boulder pile. At least they got some shelter they can climb in the holes between the boulders. Don't know what kind of food they're gonna find. Oh, 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 are you strong? Are you tough? And how about you? How about you? Oh. <laughs> oh. Yeah, unfortunately, very unlikely these guys will survive this. Guess I'll check back on in the in with them tonight when I uh, come back to set the trap again. I think before I leave here, I'm gonna chuck some of the wood off into the river. Let's see if uh, see if I can dismantle the lodge a little bit, and then maybe check a couple of more traps and swing by Mahoney's house do a bit of uh, it was raining on Wednesday so I didn't do my weekly mowing and gardening so we'll head over there and do some of the, a little bit of that but let's go dislodge the the lodge somewhat beaver just jumped in as soon as I started pulling sticks Look 
who's joined us. This is the one I'm trying to catch. Not as big as that last one we caught. Very interested in what I'm doing here, though. Tonight, I'll be back. Yeah, tonight I'll be back and I'll put the trap again and we will see. Like somebody was messing with my trap. This one's supposed to be here. Put a little bait in there. Go check one more trap and then we'll then we'll head over to Mahoney's. Where's my bait? Here we go. A little bit of kibble. Yeah, we think there's one more skunk baby living under this under this uh, ramp. So Let's see what we can do to get her. Yesterday caught a magpie in the trap here. <laughs> of course released it, you know, right here, but you can see the magpie was checking it out when we came in the alley. Hopefully he doesn't get caught in there again. See if I can just swap them into my traps if they're small enough. Okay, well, there's three there, and uh, the mother's actually around too. Oh, yeah. I've been pacing around outside. Oh, I, I bet. She pulled that away because I kind of had everything popped up against the building there. Hey, sleepy heads. You wanna come with me? It's at least three. One, two, three, four. Got four in here. Is there four? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I didn't get that close. So. <laughs> um, it sounds like there's a mother still. Yeah. And one more small one. Okay. That uh, they've been coming out. So, I mean, I guess I'll just reset for the night. And yeah. Yeah. Here's stinkers. Ha, 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 ha. 
<laughs> Just on my way to Pavan Park where I'm going to drop off those skunk babies and decided to stop off at this client's place where I've been trying to trap some raccoons. I'll show you the situation here. Now, I think I've had a trap here at least two weeks. Raw egg and kibble in that bait stick. And the raccoons are living in the crawl space of the, of the attic and you can see there where they've pushed up through the foss, foss soffit and stuff so that's what I'm dealing with but after a couple of weeks of having the trap here and no hits with the raccoons I am thinking I'd like to set up a game cam here and find out whether the animals are or are not even still around here so yeah I'm gonna set up a cam I think around these somewhere in here because I think they're coming down off of these trees hey and uh, we'll leave the game cam around for a few nights and see what we can get all right so I've set the camera right here which is where I think they probably are coming down judging by bits of insulation that are left here as well as chewed up egg cartons and such so yeah we'll see we'll see give it a couple of nights and check and see if we got anybody passing all right on to Pavan All right, skunkies, you are free to go. It's a big glob of baby skunk. The door is open on the other side. There you go. There's one coming. Nope, turned around. <laughs> They'll figure it out here in a minute. Here's one. Here's one getting it. Oh yes, he's out. Number two, you gotta come out. What are you gonna do? There we go. There's two and three. Number four, you're kinda slow. Now you're all alone, number four. Your siblings are off exploring and you are stuck in a box. How come? Ah, breath spraying me. Go on, breath. There you go. There you go. All right, I'm going to stash my cage in the bush back here for a little bit and take a walk through the forest in Pavan again. See if I notice anything I didn't notice last time or if there's something new.
the old hide behind the tree technique, huh? <laughs> I don't see. <laughs> Let's take this trail. I'm looking for that, uh, the weeping tree that we visited with Poli. We saw the bees getting water. I want to see what else might be there today. Should be coming up on it here pretty soon. I think. I think it's just right in this area here somewhere. So that, that tree up there. Let's see. It's not far. That one. Weeping tree, where did you go? I don't know, hang tight. Maybe I already passed it, I don't know. I must have mistakenly passed that weeping tree because now we're fairly deep into the forest in this direction. Still a lot of cotton seed in the air, as there was during the last visit when I was showing you the, the spiders that capitalize on this phenological event. Um, not seeing anything amazing here, except perhaps of interest. Check out the tops of these dog bane in some instances have been snipped. Now I don't know if that's just along the edge of the path and therefore of uh, more likely human origin. A lot of these have been snipped though. I'm betting I'm betting deer have a hankering for the tops of these for the tips of the dog bane. Yeah, because it's just too many of these have been snipped in that same way. And they've lost leaves as well. There's a snipply, snipping on the ground, but most, I don't see like the fallen leaves or, or tops of the plants as though, uh, enough of them as though Maybe kids had come by and whipped these tips off. No, they're actually pretty sure they're all eaten off. So, the most likely culprit was that fella hiding behind the tree back there. <laughs> or that lady. should say. I keep forgetting to pack my hammock in the uh, my backpacker's hammock. I want to pack it in the truck you know for days like this when I have a little time in the afternoon to go through a forest on a stroll would wouldn't be a, a terrible thing now and then to just bring my hammock out and Take a little siesta amongst the birds and such, hey? I gotta remember to do that. Ah, the life of Rye. <laughs> there is this fairly small, I think it's a skipper moth of some sort here. Let's see if I can sneak close enough to it to get a decent shot of it here. Even this is pretty good. Try to figure out what that guy is. I've seen a few different 
interesting moths. Got a mushroom here. sure the species maybe I'll take a photograph of these guys and send it to the uh, mushroom folks see if I can get an ID I had to harvest one of the mushrooms in order to get a photograph of the gill side which is part of what I'll need for probably for the identification. I imagine I'll get one pretty quick once I post it. Just walking along these coolie cliffs here, which I haven't, this area I haven't really explored yet. Um, I love those cliffs, really nice. Might be out of the park at this point. I might be onto private property, but I haven't passed a fence or anything. <laughs> so I'm going to figure that I'm still on park grounds. Lots of that cotton in the air. It's a pretty mature stand of forest in here, it looks like. Oh, and park boundary, it appears. Let's go see. I see some, I see a row of red signs, red and white signs there, which looks like a fence line. I should harvest some of this yarrow. Maybe I'll do some of that, harvest some on my way back to the vehicle. No trespassing, no hunting. Get off of my proper tie. Public parkland ends. No trespassing. Oh. did seem like I was walking outside of the, the range of the park there for a bit. Just coming to check out this little shelter here. Somebody created with a hula hoop hanging and a painting. One love. Who knows? Uh, should I go this way? Should I go this way? I might follow the boundary line for a bit here. It's June and we got nice representatives of prairie June grass all in through here as well as some of the yarrow that I'm looking for. I never harvest yarrow except on the fly when I need it, but I always regret that. I always wish I had some at some point in the winter or another. I'll get a uh, <clears throat> snap it off about halfway down the stem, get a bunch of these suckers and uh, tie them together in a bundle, hang them up to dry, and then strip off the dry flowers and leaves when they're dry. And this is how you want to get them when they're just at their most flowered, most blossomed point. Okay? And you use this stuff as a poultice anti-inflammatory. 
So I'm gonna gather some as I move along here. Just noticing in this meadow here where I'm harvesting my yarrow, I'm also seeing a lot of Monikapi, the wild bergamot or horse mint, some people call it. It's the strongest menthol that we've got out here. And it's kind of like uh, Buckley's, you know, cough medicine. Same, same use, same potential, make it into a tea. But we're gonna wait until it gets a little bit more mature before we harvest that. Still tastes good. Well, as good as strong menthol tastes. <laughs> I have reconnected with the path and identified the weeping tree. It's not weeping so much today as it was. Though there's still some coming out and there's still a European honeybee making use of it. There's others buzzing around, but yeah, it's looking a bit drier today. There we go. There's a few bees around. Getting a sip. Don't see any other insects though. Just the honeybees. Lots and lots of that needle and thread grass here in this little meadow. Some areas of it are just thick. And this is that grass I was talking about the other day when it's at its mature, you know, it's got these, these seeds. You can throw these like a little They'll stick to your best friend's back, you know? And you can load his, his whole back before he knows it, full of these uh, little quills. <laughs> Just be hanging off of his shirt like hair. Yeah, that is the fun of needle and thread grass. Where is my cage? Should be in here somewhere. Yeah, lots of it. <clears throat> oh yeah. So, I think I'm gonna go home for a little bit. Grab a bite to eat. Have a little break for a couple of hours. Maybe edit some video while I'm there. And then uh, I need to go back to where I started off today in Colehurst, uh, where I picked up those first batch of baby skunks. I need to go back there and bring the, a big trap for him because he phoned. He says he's got four more running around there by his shed, but they're not going in the little trap that I left. So, we'll see if we can catch him up in the bigger trap overnight. And of course, go set up for the beaver again before bed. So, yeah, that's my plan. Unless snake calls intervene. about quarter after two in the afternoon right now and off on a snake call I haven't really had any rest I've been at the house but I've been getting call after call for different uh, mostly fledgling crows and uh, one guy called totally on the other side of town had just bought a vehicle and he found there's a family of mice like a litter of mouse pinkies in his air uh, intake of the vehicle. I 
Mike's air intake box. So, you want me to come get them? I was like, ah, uh, you know, I'm going to need rescue if I don't get a break partway through my day. <laughs> so I got more to do tonight. So if you want to put them in a shoe box or a bag or whatever, bring them over to me. I do know a mouse whisperer of sorts. <laughs> I have a friend who uh, recently raised some baby, baby mice, much to the shock of all of her friends and family and such, but um, but I didn't want to go across town to, to pick them up myself, just not out of laziness, but I need a break, you know, I'm going to have more work to do tonight. So I don't think he's ever going to bring those. Um, and all of the different crow calls, I was just able to kind of like give them some, some coaching in what they need to do. Some of that may continue. Uh, but this call, this involves a snake. They're not sure if it's a bull snake or a rattlesnake, but it's here in, in Hardyvale, which is a kind of a outskirts suburbs of the north side, the very last bit of Lethbridge. Uh, subdivision before you get out of town so let's see what is the number that I'm looking for here I'm on 42nd Avenue hold on a minute I'm gonna find the place and then we'll come back on hello Busy, busy. You know? Really? Oh, yeah. I don't want to hear that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, you called me, so you know you've got one, right? <laughs> I know, I know. But if you're busy, that means there's lots of people calling you. Oh, yes. It's not even that really warm today, you know? But no, no, it, ha it has been quiet the last few days with the cold weather, but I expected some calls today. Did you? Yeah. It's, uh, it's in the back there. It's coming out. And I don't think it's a rattlesnake now because we can see it. Oh, yeah. But it was. Yeah, I would, I would guess a bull snake in, just in the location. You really? Know? Oh, good yeah. Man. Hey. Yeah. Hey, right here. He's right along the fence. Oh, it's open. I can get him, try and get him in that barrel oh, yeah. and, and take him down to the van or something. Yeah, yeah, that's a bull snake. Is it? Yeah. How do you know for sure? Oh, you just, it's like recognizing the difference between a rose and a lily. Like you, you no, just get so, to know oh, the. Yeah, he wants April. to bugger off. Oh. No buggering off. We already got a picture of him. Oh, yeah, he's not happy. No, he's going to try to bite me. Stay oh, in. Can get out. Oh yes. Look at that. It's a big boy. Yeah. <laughs> oh, <my goodness>. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I I was just coming out there and here he is on my deck. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no, and the cat wanted was coming. Right. So he didn't want to let the cat out. <laughs> oh oh my goodness. Well I was pretty sure it wasn't, but mm. But we didn't want it, when you know, you don't want it. up in there and hissing at me. Yeah. Because I was trying to get that hiss, a shovel under them. The hiss. They do a really good job mimicking rattlesnakes. They can, they even like flatten out their head and shake their tails and all of that. And they make the hiss. Yeah, his tail Is there tail something we was, should watch for, then, Like, you know, so we know the difference? Or do you, is it? Look at, look at pictures of them and you'll see this quite, there's more than just the rattle. Just the whole design, the makeup of its eh? body, yeah. Yeah, it's right just away. a very different snake, but they're they're similar enough that yeah, you know, yeah, he, I don't he's learned to, to yeah. mimic rattlers. Yeah. So. Oh, <laughs> but so what are you gonna do with him? Bring him back down in the coolies. Yay. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. All right, and just at the top of Pavan Park here, where there's a 
a nice big ground squirrel colony. This guy can uh, enjoy. See if we can pull him out of there. <laughs> He's gonna bring himself out. Let's see where he goes. <laughs> Miss the ground squirrel holes. Yeah, he doesn't know where he is. He's kind of looking for shelter. You missed the missed the area that I was guiding him toward where there was shelter. Maybe I'll kind of steer him back that direction. Back toward my bucket. There is or there are holes. Yeah, he's going the right way. We'll get him in the hole. Yeah, now he's gonna see one. There he goes. Whoop. Gone. <laughs> Had to go all that way to, to come right back. It's now edging toward dusk, about eight o'clock in the evening. And I am on my way to Paradise Canyon Golf Club to pick up a rattlesnake, drop that one off, and then go reset the beaver trap for the evening. Um, I've also got a message about two ducklings down a storm drain on the north side. Uh, they are at a location that's kind of on my way back home, so if it's not too dark after we set the beaver trap, we will stop and check out what is this duckling situation as well. <laughs> It's been a fun afternoon. I've got, I've just had call after call after call for uh, cases that don't necessarily need me there. Mostly fledgling birds and such. Um, people are just encountering animals and uh, and startled by the whole situation. <laughs> But uh, that's just a normal part of our of our season, for the most part. Anyway, let's go get a rattlesnake, and once we move that snake, we'll go check out the beaver again. Is this the one that was over uh, across the street by the parking lot? Yeah. yeah. It's right by, um, well, it's in do you know where that postal office is? Like the post box is here? Uh, it's right not exactly. So, yeah. Somebody said there was a, called, they called earlier and they said <coughs> there was a snake across the way. Yeah. And somewhere <coughs> it had got in behind a fence or something, so they said you're probably not going to be able to fetch it, so they didn't yeah. worry about it. But there was couple earlier today so yeah
real pretty female snake. She might be a little bit cold, given how dark she is. When the snakes get cold, their coloration turns darker. It's not a particularly warm day to begin with. And Come. Get in that get in that balance point. Here we are. What a beautiful girl. It's a badger hole. Go. Nice hole. Show you this just here this plant <coughs> this is moss Indian breadroot this is the uh, the old day potato right there if I had time on my hands I'd dig it out but we still got a beaver trap to set and ducklings to rescue potentially so off we go. Yeah, I received a message that the the ducklings were no longer at the site. Somebody went to check and couldn't find them. So I've set up my trap here. I don't know whether I should put fresh sprigs on the trap. I don't think I'm going to because they smell very, very musky. So I'm, I'm just kind of hoping that the beaver comes and checks it out overnight here this was what I was dealing with this morning and I kind of wanted to show this as well like I opened it up so much but this really big long piece here that was kind of a ridge pole that came straight off the center down and everything was kind of stacked onto that ridge onto that as a ridge pole just to uh, I wish I would have shown it this morning just to kind of explain a, a little bit about beaver architectural techniques. Um, one of the first, something's going on here with the ducks. I don't know what the deal is. I think, I think they might have been chased by something underwater even. Interesting. Um, Anyway, one of the first pieces, if not the first piece, to, to, to go on to a, a, a bank den like this to start building a lodge is that one big ridge pole. So you keep them from putting that ridge pole in. Maybe we can keep them from, uh, discourage them from actually ever completing the building of a lodge here. <laughs> a few guys up this way. Maybe they'll come check me out. Yeah, they're gonna come check me out. So anyway, we've got the we got the trap set for the night and we'll see what happens. Just driving along the canal here and I noticed this beaver. Hopefully this is the same partner for that lodge otherwise I will have more work on my hands because I think my my job here is to keep this canal and its entrance beaver free 
think it's probably the same animal, but we'll see if we get her overnight. 